Selling on the internet has never been easier using Pinnacle Cart's e-commerce plus for Facebook. To get started, all you need to do is log into your Facebook account, scroll down, and click on the advertising link. Next, we're going to want to click on the Manage Your Existing Ads link at the top of the page. And from there, we're going to want to scroll over and click on the Pages link found in Facebook. Here, we're going to want to click Create a New Page. And here, we'll be given the option of either setting up a local business or place, or a company, organization, or institution. For this demonstration, I'm going to want to set up a local bookstore here in Phoenix. So I'm going to fill out the required information, including the store name, the street address, the city and state, the zip code, and of course the phone number. I'm going to have to agree to the terms and conditions. Click Get Started, and I'm going to go through the security check for Facebook. Click Submit. And now my page is created. Next, the easiest way to get to the application is just to go to PinnacleCart.com. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page, and you're going to see our Sell to Millions on Facebook link. On that page, just scroll down so you can get to the e-commerce plus for Facebook application and that will take you right into Facebook. Once here, just click on that add to my page link and select the page where you'd like the application to be added to. Now I'm going to go through the process of connecting my store with Facebook. So. To do that, first I'm going to want to refresh this new page, and I'm going to see the shop link appear there on the left-hand side. And here's where I'm going to be entering in the necessary information to make this connection. So I'm going to want to go back to the administration area of my Pinnacle Cart store, and go ahead and log in so I can retrieve that. Once inside, I'm going to want to go to the Product and Order Export link under the Marketing tab and select the Cart API. Here I'm going to go ahead and activate the API, put in a username and password for security, and generate a security token. I'm going to want to go ahead and save my changes and copy that security token to be placed in the Facebook store. Back at the Facebook store, I'm going to want to enter in that security token and put in the username and password I created. I'm also going to have to put in the URL to make the connection, so I'm going to go back to my store and you will see at the top of the page there, there is a link that you are provided that you can put in the back of the cart, or excuse me, into the back of your Facebook store. Click save and you're all done.